The ALS Association says that $15.5 million in donations were received in August. That's of Monday. Now, that's up from nearly two million dollars for the same time last year big reason is called the ice bucket challenge as it makes its rounds on the world of social media it's what you might call movement marketing the world's first advertising agency dedicated to this type of marketing is the company called strawberry frog and the chief executive and founder scott goodson joins me now he is also of the book uprising it is called How to Build a Brand and Change the World by Sparking Cultural Movements. And Scott joins me now. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I mean, we're living in a time of total uprisings and movements, political, marketing. Does everybody everywhere. need to have a marketing edge when it comes to a movement of some kind? I think you need to have an idea that really grates against the average. You need an idea that breaks through the wall of indifference. So, yeah, you do. Okay, let's talk about some of the campaigns that you've created in order to give these as examples. Mm -hmm. Wassa Bread. How did you decide that Sweden as a lifestyle, as a perception, was something that you would connect with the bread? Well, it's an iconic brand. You eat it in the morning, it's this hard bread. But it is kind of a beige product. It doesn't have a lot of personality. But yet, and health and good f for you is a, something we've heard a billion times. So. Sweden is a culture that is utopian for a lot of Americans. If you're a woman, it has a lot of positive attributes. You can be successful in business. Uh, you live a, live a healthy lifestyle. So it's one of those things that's highly aspirational. So the campaign is all about bringing that exciting lifestyle that is in Sweden to our homes in America. And everybody in America wants to live in a bigger world. You know, the world has become such a bigger place because of the Internet. So a place like Sweden is aspirational. So anytime you see Wasa bread, you're going to have to think Sweden. Absolutely. All right. What about if you are interested in other kinds of food, like Sabra? I know they make hummus and a variety of other prepared foods. Well, we la help launch Sabra in the United States. And the most recent campaign that we have done is for Sabra Salsa, which is a new innovation for that company, uh, terrific salsa. But when you bring it to market, you can't just come and say, oh, this is a delicious tasting salsa. So the campaign that we developed was all about these wonderful American farmers who grow tomatoes, but they don't just grow them, they sing to them. And they sing REO Speedwagon's love song. Um, so you need to have an idea that's going to break through. That's not just your average boring. It has to be disruptive. It has to touch your heart. All right. And shareable on the Internet. Did, did Scott Goodson, did, did you have to sing these REO Speedwagon songs in order to get people excited about this campaign? <laughs> I mean, how do you convince a company like Sabra that, yeah, farmers that are singing songs, that will do it? Well, that one was an easy one because it's scientifically true. If you actually talk to your plants and sing to them, they actually grow better. So that one was as an easier sell than perhaps Sabra. Uh, sorry, perhaps and the wasa. wasa bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about singing to your bottle of Jim Beam? Singing to your bottle of Jim Beam is something that uh, we don't necessarily recommend, but uh, you could always try it. I mean, uh, in that case, we worked with uh, Mila Kunis to do a campaign, which has helped the brand become uh, reignited, sort of iconic status. I mean, it's a brand that's been around for 200 years, has an amazing history. So we came up with. Uh, a phrase called Make History, which touches on the wonderful heritage and legacy of the brand, but it also um, talks about what you as a young person, young person over 21, I mean, of course, um, are going to do tonight, right now. So it's about making your own history. Jim Beam has made its history, and now you're going to make your own. Let's talk about making a future, because you've also worked on Emirates and their tagline that you wrote, Hello Tomorrow. So the brands we're talking about now, I mean, and you know, Awas is from Sweden, Sabra is new to the United States, uh, Jim Beam is doing a global brand, Make History is going around the world, it's an America campaign is going around the world. Now Emirates is a Dubai based airline that came to the United States uh, a few years ago and what we wanted to do was to create a movement that people could align with that was bigger than the airline itself and the movement that we came up with was the idea of connecting people from around the world. So if you connect people from around the world, you overcome misunderstandings, you overcome misconceptions, and that is a higher ideal, and that's a movement. You get people inside the company where you've got you know, thousands and thousands of people getting behind this idea of hello tomorrow, which is an idealistic future, 
but it's also about an idea about a world that's better. So inherent in a movement is the idea that you can change the world in some way. It doesn't have to be nobler than now. It can be like the ALS camp, uh, challenge, but it can also be something where you just want people to engage with an idea. Um, and with Emirates, we want people to align with Emirates because they're, in their way, making the world a smaller place.